I'm gonna teach you guys how to do some low flies. Low flies are really, really good for, believe it or not, not only just like that costal part. So like whenever a lot of coaches talk about like, oh, like this hits your like lower chest, this hits your upper chest. It's not like that black and white. You're kind of always hitting a little bit of everything always, but it's just more of the emphasis, right? So like granted, like you kind of start the movement and like, yeah, you do hit a little bit of that costal part, but like, believe it or not, this is kind of like an incline movement because these are cables. It's kind of reverse about like if you were to do it with like dumbbells or like barbells because these are cables and the emphasis is on the negative. This is actually more of like an incline movement than it is like a decline movement, believe it or not, right? So one thing that we want to do is we actually don't want to make, we want to make sure that these aren't super, super low because we don't want to have to worry about like rotation of our shoulders, right? And that's just going to take away a lot of the tension out of our chest. What's the point of doing that if we're trying to optimize our tension? So we want to make sure that we're, we're nice and tall whenever we do these. Same situation as before, whenever we're doing like mid flies, we want to go like pinky, index finger towards the edge of the D handles. We're going to come out and bend the elbows a little bit. I want to bend my elbows and then converge through. I want to finish kind of at this like angle. I guess you can call it maybe like a 45 degree angle. So it'll look a little something like this. And that's how you do low flies.